you give, go from Tacoma to Scranton, Wilkes Barre? Right? From Tacoma to Philly. Yeah, it was in 205 at the time. Like I said, I was just. So was, your call up to the major leagues was a trade? Yeah, I got traded and went to the big leagues. That might be the first uh, seven years of doing this. So you get off a plane. Look at this, though. This I get killing me. They told me. They told me after the game, they like, "Look, you got traded." And I'm just like, I was just like sweet. Just the week before, my back coach told me how bad I suck and that we can't even trade for you now. <laughs> Terry Kennedy, yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, he told me that. Yeah, I mean, he talked. He talked. Yeah, he talked right? so bad. Oh my goodness, he talked bad. And then the next week, I got traded. And you know, I get traded. I, I had no idea um, where I was going. I got traded to Philly, so I figured I was going to scram. You know, back then they, you know, you had your paper ticket waiting on you at, sure. at the airport. So I get to the airport and it shows me going to Philly. I'm like, you didn't know? No, I didn't know I was going to the big leagues. I know I got traded to Philly. I didn't even know. So no one told you you're going to Philly? No, it's like you're going to you get traded to Philly. Yeah, I had no idea. You get off the plane, I'm dying. And that, it's almost like a mystery. You get off the plane. Yeah, I called my dad like right away because he was like, I got it. He said, he already told me. And you get there. I get there. And it was like the second game of the double. Um, there was a double header. Double header. I got there during the first game of the double header. And um, they had the second game lineup up. I was in. It killed me. Man, it was killing me. I was scared of that. <laughs> All right, you're out here. Uh, now you're leaving. Do you see why the kids do get why they don't like this? Yeah. So you got the uniform on. I cannot even imagine I mean, your pops or, or your, your second base or your high school. Um, and your name's in the lineup card. Yeah. Your, butt, your butt goes from that uh, left-hand side of the dugout where the bat rack is, and you walk up to home plate to, to the on deck circle. What, what is going to be relevant to Well, first, the first, at first I played defense. Oh, Just you went out? I went out okay. and played defense. Okay. That's what I think I'm saying. I might even hit the pitcher before me that day, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> but, um, uh, Did you get the it? first ground ball I got was from Ray Langford. Sure. Uh, yeah, he's, he hit a ball, he got the turf, and, and then I kicked it. First major league ground ball. Oh, oh! oh. I kicked it. And the Philly faith that we have in the tight. Like they're supposed who is to. This new guy, <laughs> you know who's this, this guy? guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, 30,000. Let me have it. I'm just, God, there's no way to run. You know, so I felt like I was the only person on the field. It was amazing. So now I'm just like, gosh, I gotta get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I okay. Get I get it. it. I get it. I gotta get it. Hit. Who's throwing and what team are you playing against? Playing against St. Louis Cardinals. Okay. Um, it was cool because that was uh, Ozzy Smith's last game. That in, in, that's his like last hoorah. Sure. That's his last season. And, uh, By the way, he said, "No one in my life can be harder than my mother." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, and he graduated same size as you. Yeah, look. Yeah. He's amazing. Um, uh, we're playing them, Andy. Uh, no, Andy Bennis was pitching. Sure. He's no joke. Yeah, and I man, my first first ball I hit, I thought I went deep. I mean, I crushed the ball, I hit it good, and uh, Langford like caught it like up against the ball in right field. Oh, you did drive it. Yeah, I drove it, but it, yeah, it was out, it was a little outside, and I yanked it, and I just I didn't have that kind of power. Right. But, well, I hit it good. Well, but, the vet the vet was uh, not the most forgiving. Yeah, you had to hit it. Yeah, you had to hit it. Three thirty down the line. Yeah. So then I, you know, it got I got it. Uh, Instantly got it back my next time I got a turf knock, hit a chopper over Mark McGuire's head at first base. Oh, we got off the first big league. That was my first big league. To wrap this up, that's that's what this is really all about. Yeah. You know, you just explained <clears throat> thousands and thousands of people that spend every summer religiously playing the game they love, their dream. Um, when did you? That's your appearance. 
you were blessed, you know, uh, with the Players Association and how, how they evaluate you when you're retired. You know, it's how many years, how many days, how many weeks and months. You were blessed to, to play a, a while in that game. Right. When could you call back home and you're talking with family and, and you knew you belonged? How, what, that um, season, that summer, the next summer, a good streak. You know what? <laughs> I felt like I, it was tough coming up in Philly. You know, it was just, it was a, that was a tough time for me. Just, it was just tough. Well, but I say, like who, was, who was your first confidant on that team? Who, who, who were you able to, to chill with, relax? Still, it was different. They had this, you know, there wasn't like there was an older guy or better on the team. It was still kind of the hazy, like you're a rookie kind of man, you know, we're going to let you know you're a rookie, that kind of thing. So I, I had to, like, you know, confide in, like, other rookies, you know, younger guys, and we were just kind of, you know, kind of confide in each other. Talk trash about the veterans that was sure. hating on us. No, by the way, a, a lot of that has never changed since before you were born. Right. I mean, but actually, you got treated. Now. You got treated. Oh, it's way different. Yeah. But if you talk to a seventy or eighty year old guy, they would. You're after That's my job. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to acknowledge your existence. Right. They think, right? Obviously, because they're older. You had it a walk in the park. Right. Um, but. It's, it's, it's strange. What are the young guys 20 years from now going to say? Because I know it. I was there. Yeah. It's changed. Sorry, yeah. I saw that at the end of my career. It changed. Um, I asked you when you felt you, but you had to earn it. You, you, you went down. You came back up. You earned coming back up. I mean, I felt like I belonged when I got there. You know, as a when I made that team out of spring training my rookie year, I felt like I belonged. Right. Yeah, I felt like I belonged. But I don't feel like I arrived to the big leagues until uh, until I got traded, or until I played with the Mets. Really? Or until I left Philly, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> obviously, right, um, everybody has their own interpretation. In my brain, I know about the Mets, of course. Right. But when I think of your name, whenever I've thought of your name, when we first connected, was uh, a little bit after I got this assignment, you're always in my brain. Uh, you say, arrived when I came to the Mets, I think, Obviously, you're always a Philly. Right. You know, everybody's got their own interpretation of that. For sure. For sure. Um, yeah, but you came over with some experience to the Mets. So you, you're a guy that's not fresh. Right. And it was just a, you know, I was in a place where they, they believed I could play. They just allowed me to play. Your manager with the Mets? About Valentine. Okay. Yeah. A guy that, guess what? You know how they say everybody's got an opinion? Right. I've known him, I've known him since he was a player. Right. One of the things I will say, hard, always hard working, hard working as a player. But there is no middle road with me. It's, it's, but there's actually there's a major highway in between. You know, like you. Guess it what? Be tough to contend with. Um, I, your name's come up. You know, obviously since we started interacting through social media, uh -huh. there is no, there's no, you know, your big, that you know how you said smooth. Mm -hmm. There's no big waves, yeah. uh, which is not a bad way to live life. Right. So you came over there, and they wanted you. A veteran manager was using you. Yeah, I was just able to play and just kind of be loose. Where right? that wasn't the case. I was just be myself, just play. The hardest thing, <clears throat> which, and I, I preempted with, if you speak to, there's 67 living Hall of Famers. Half of them, if you speak to them. The end of baseball is a period of frustration. The transition out of baseball, or sure. to even if you're coaching, another point of the game, because it means it's the end, and then you turn the page. Right. How how did it happen? Because you had a much longer career than the average player. You know, it's, it's uh, four years. 
is the average, between three and four years is the average period. How, what, what went on, meaning that sometimes there's movement from, from one team to the next? Oh, I moved around a lot. So but, but you were also, there's another way of looking at it in all honesty. Right? Somebody, somebody's paying a scout for sure to say, "Hey, we can use that guy." Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think you look at it as a negative guy in the stretch. Like you said, somebody wants you. Yeah, you play. So, um, Did, were you taking college classes? Because you said about nutrition. No, I actually went back to school after I was done. Really? Twelve credits a semester, or fifteen? Were we? I went back. I'm a professor now, so I'm done. But I went back my first year and I took, uh, I took 18 credits in the summer. That's sick. I'm saying that didn't it's been 18 years. And I jumped in and I took 15 credits in the summer. What was your motivation? Why Why did you, you know, why nutrition? Why did you go? Why did you jump in head first? Well, I always liked school. I always wanted to go to school. I was a good student. Uh, but getting in the ball, and then towards the end of my career, I started, you know, I'm just trying to find, you know, like any athlete, you're trying to find that edge, you know, things that can make me better as an athlete, you know, whether healing or stronger, faster, whatever. And um, I never got into the steroid thing, although I played throughout that whole era. You know, in all honesty, I, I, I come, mine was pre steroids, it was greetings, it was, right. it was a bunch of things, but. I choose to side with the kids. I just choose to stay clear of it because there's, it's, it's a never end, it's like who killed Kennedy. It's a never end topic. Who right. did, who didn't, how much this. Um, I, I did, you, you know what I'm saying? The people in the media, which I was raised to shy away from, you know what I'm saying? It's not what I'm after, you know, but it comes up all the time. I think it was just a, for me, it was just a matter of. Ethics and morality. Yeah. It's, it's illegal. It's wrong. It's, it's cheating. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. from that aspect. Did, how'd you do your your summer? How'd you do with your grades? It was 15 credits. That's a meeting to Because you had to do work there. No, I, I, that's all I did. That's all I did. <laughs> but I only got one C in college in statistics. So I did well. What college did you pick to go to? University of North Florida. Here in town, and then I also got I have a, a holistic certification from uh, from, uh, from uh, level, yeah, from uh, institution of integrated nutrition. So we're here now, 91 graduating year. You're gonna you're gonna have your uh, little bit 25th anniversary to go back. Uh, feels good to be in good shape, at least to be one of the youngest looking ones to go back when you do. Yeah, no doubt. Um, what is your you know, people? We talked about golf. Some guys. Uh, spend more time, obviously, with their family because that job takes you away. Right. What is your passion now? When you wake up, you were busy today, which I loved. You had to squeeze me in. Yeah, man. Yep. And today is like my off day, so I, I have to do a run, like a running around and, and carrying on, man. I'm like a Jamaican dude. Like I got jobs, <laughs> like mad jobs. I got stuff that I have to do that I want to do. Just, yeah, I'm always doing stuff. So on Tuesdays, I have to try to get. All your stuff. A lot of stuff in. I'm interrupted in hair. No, 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 not even. This is good. This is fun. It's a good break. But, uh, yeah, so I have a, you know, I have a, I have a busy schedule. Which is good. Um, I appreciate your time. Oh, no I, I love that you get, that my assignment's very unique. And I wish you could see the faces. You know, when they're able to go home from school and look up a bunch of these. Right. Because you, know, you were once that kid in the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, just like yeah. every other kid. Like, you know, who is to say that you can't be that 1% or 2%? Because it's, you know, it's, it's definitely possible. You know, I'm not saying it's easy. Do you still hear? Uh, baseball is a never ending cycle. Um, collectors, fans, kids, will you still get mad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, even now, like, I, you know, I wasn't a big name player by any stretch, but, you know, to true baseball fans and, you know, Philly fans or Mets fans and, you know, teams that I played for, they, you know, they recognized and liked what I did on the field and they're a fan, so I, I think it's cool, you know. <laughs>
after the fact, it's, it's, it's cool. The easiest question to answer, right? I, I love the variation of the answer. If, um, if you're taking a 10-year-old kid to a game, you know, the, the typical American 10, 11, 12 year old. Mm -hmm. So you take them to the ballpark. You've got 30 major league teams. Okay. 25 guys on each team, 750 players. Right. But you only can take them to one game. Who, who are you taking, you know, who, who do you want to sit there and talk about somebody on the Who's the player or two that you want to say, watch, you know, who you enjoy? If I could take them anywhere, I'll be. You know, we would consolidate. I would try to get him, take him to the All Star game. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're cheating, man. You just got done telling me you don't cheat. Yeah, 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 no, cheat. Right. In Minnesota, by the way, this year. Yeah, I would make him track. We would go to the All Star game and we would get to see all the best players and we could talk about all of them and what they do well and why they're considered All Stars. But I don't know, there's a few guys like right now that I would like pay to go see. Like, I would like to. Um, I like watching guys throw, pitch. Well, you know, I like watching guys pitch. So yeah, I like guys who throw hard. I would like to see a lot of chat. Sure, I've never seen them throw live, but it's, just, it's amazing. It's Although the Phillies lit them up in the playoffs, when I, I, I watched that, I don't it's know how. I, I don't know how you hit the guy, but you know, he, he gets hit. <laughs> Big leaguers don't care. You go ahead, throw it up here. Yeah, you just tie it. But um, and then from a player perspective. No man, there's just so many like young, you know, so much young talent right now. Like I don't know if the, I don't know any one person I can say, go I'd, I'd say you watch a big league game and I'll show you why that guy's there and why it's good. And you could probably compare him to any other number of players, but I mean, I'm, I'm just not really getting back to being a fan right now because I was, you know, you're. Kind of scorned for a little. It just, you know, kind of mad. Remember what I said though? Yeah. Even the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you know? upset. You it know? takes, you know what? It takes time. It, exactly. it takes time. And I it still does. don't know if I'm, because I still want to play. <laughs> I still want to play, but now I'm like, yeah, it's baseball season. Like, I'm actually trying to watch spring training games and learn players sure. again. So, um, yeah, I love it, man. But I, I do, in all honesty, uh, first day in Florida, spring training 2014. Um, thanks for your time. When you're up north, right? Um, a, you're invited to our annual gig. Okay. Um, if I'm ever anywhere with you, right, uh, let us team up with the kids, and I'll do my thing. For sure. And do yours. For sure. Um, I'll make you out to be bigger than than you think you are. <laughs> and and they won't be leaving going. Who? Who? Yeah. They won't. Thank you so much. Man. Love them up. I appreciate it. All right.